I just want to sound off. In Minnesota, the legislature right now is entertaining a bill to restrict major party status in Minnesota elections. What does that mean? Basically, the Republican Party and the Democratic Party are supporting, at some level, a bill that will make it harder for third parties to put a candidate on a ballot in a November election. In Minnesota, we've had former Governor Jesse Ventura at the Capitol testifying against this bill. Basically, Governor Ventura was elected in 1998 as a candidate for the Reform Party. If the law that is being entertained in the Minnesota legislature right now were in place then, he wouldn't have had a chance, according to him. The issue is, what percentage of voters in a statewide race have to vote for a third party in order for that third party to enjoy major party status, such as the Republicans and Democrats have? And in Minnesota, this bill is Senate File 1827, and it would basically say that Instead of major, uh, third parties becoming major parties, if they can get 5% in a statewide race, they would increase it to 10%. Okay, how many states in the union even make a distinction between a major and a minor party? Only about 20. How many states do it in the way that Minnesota does it? There's, I think, two other states that utilize a 10% number, and I think there might be one more state that's even higher than that. But the great majority of states do not do this, and the median value for the 50 states in terms of what percentage, what threshold do you have to hit in order to become a major party status is 2%. And yet Minnesota is looking at pushing this from 5 to 10% to 10%. Make no mistake about it. This is the two major parties trying to reshape the rules so that they can make sure that there are no spoilers out there. You play by their rules or you don't get on the ballot in November. This is no time to be stopping people asking questions. And oftentimes it's the third parties that have been willing to ask the hard questions. It's not the Republicans and the Democrats. For heaven's sakes, if you ask a hard question, you'll be criticized, you'll be ridiculed. Oftentimes you'll be eviscerated by the press. You don't dare ask hard questions. And what the Republican and Democrat chair in Minnesota, Ken Martin and David Hand, have both done is they've come out in support of this bill. And I would say to you, no, this is absolutely the wrong time. We're coming off of a three-year crisis in this country where people are afraid to ask questions for fear of losing their job. And we're going to double down and pass a bill that says, we don't want anyone thinking outside the box here, folks. We don't want anybody other than the Republicans and the Democrats on the ticket. I'm sorry, this is the wrong thing to do at the wrong time to do. I'm with the, the third parties. They should be able to have access to the, to the ballot in, in a reasonable, measured way like the majority of the other states are doing. So from my perspective, I'm sounding off. I absolutely oppose this. This is the wrong thing to do. America is becoming unrecognizable. And when you see the two major parties failing in so many ways, but having the audacity to say, oh, and by the way, we're going to eliminate spoilers. There's other ways to do that. You don't have to do this. Shame on the Democrats and the Republicans.